Hey there guys, today we're going to have a look at the rudder system on the next gen 10 kayak. Well, let's have a look. People usually think that the rudder system is used to turn the kayak um, to aid you while paddling, but that's not its only benefit. The main thing um, that the rudder system is used for is actually to allow you to paddle straight when it's a windy day. How it does it is by putting the rudder deep into the water. That way it, the stern of the boat doesn't turn as much with the wind. Um, as you can tell when you're paddling, um, especially with a bit of a current or the wind, um, it does definitely help to have that um, to help you turn, but yeah, that's what it's mainly used for. So when you get your new kayak, this is pretty much how the rudder system will look um, when you first get it, is um, your left and right lines for your pedals are just up there. Um, they'll be just tied up like this. You have this rope as well. This is the rope that you use to pull. Um, to activate the rudder. You also receive a rudder um, which will have a little pin on it. Um, so all we need to do to install it is take off this pin, take off this washer and we'll just drop it straight into this hole. Next what we're going to do is just get the washer and the pin, put the washer on, put the pin in and just flip that up. Once that's all done, um, you can tie up your little ropes. Um, so we'll just pull that, we'll throw it through and we'll tie it all off. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to find the end of this. Put it straight through the hole, same with the other side. and just pull them tight. So now I'm sitting in the kayak. Um, I've just got my feet out like I was to be on the water. Um, this is a very comfy spot for me, so I've set the rudder pedals to this um, point, um, and I'll show you how to adjust them. To adjust these rails, all you gotta do is pinch this little um, toggle, and then just slide them backwards and forwards so you find the right spot. Um, that suits your your height. So now we've got the pedals in the perfect place. Um, now we just have to tie these off. Um, to tie them off, you just wrap them around, go around, and tie a knot. And we'll do the same to the other side. Um, just make sure you keep these as tight as you can. Um, this one's a little loose, so I'll just redo it. I just like to tie them in the middle as well, just to make sure they don't slip. Now you can trim these, I just um, tie them up so they're up out of the way. Um, they're not going to get tangled with anything, so um, they should be fine. Then you just want to thread it through. We want to go around this twice. Um, there's a little recess in here. What I usually do is just pull this rudder out, just so you can tie it off a little bit easier. Um, I just thread it straight through. and then tie it off. So we'll just cut off that excess and I'll just get the lighter on it just so it doesn't fray and then it's ready to use. Hey 
Okay, so let's say we're at the water, ready to go to put our boat out. Um, so all we gotta do is grab this little bit of elastic, take it off the rudder, now it's free to move. Go over to the side of the kayak. Now I like to do this just as I put it in the water, that way it's slightly suspended off the ground. Um, makes it a lot easier to pull, the, pull it out. Um, I'll put it on its side. So that way you can see the uh, kayak, so you can see the rudder moving. So now you've got this um, rope here. So it's got a little clip here. Um, make sure that it's off that. Um, I have replaced a screw here. I don't believe that it's the best uh, well secured. Um, but that's how, how it is. Um, so I've got the rope here, so I'll just pu pull the rope. And as you can see that, moves the rudder there and then all you got to do is pull the slack and let it bite through this little grips now I don't have mine down all the way uh, that's mainly because it's on the ground otherwise it'll hit the ground it makes sense um, but yeah it's a very good system here I'm just pushing the pedals either way um, just so you can see the movement of the rudder So that's how you install and use the rudder. Um, I quite like the rudder, I haven't used it too much, but from what I have used it, it it's been quite helpful. Um, I kind of try and not go on days that it's very windy, um, so I don't need it that much. Um, but it definitely helps. Anything to make it easier on the water um, is a big help. Thanks for watching this guys, much appreciated. Um, if you could like, comment and subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, if you've got any tips or comments that you want to put, in, put down, um, yeah, just drop them in the comments. Uh, I read them all the time, so and try and frequently reply. Um, and if you've got any other videos that you would like me to do, um, just let me know.